Okay, so now I want to talk about believing in um, fearful projections that are not a reality, but sometimes they feel like they are a reality. So that could possibly be um, like an old situation that um, that is validating fear and you know, keeping you in um, the low level of, of fear and Sometimes our brain will get tricking ourselves into, you know, allowing ourselves to not be grounded and to allow ourselves to run wild with visions, you know, that cause ourselves pain and happiness. And half the time, you know, it's actually not even true. Like so many times you can say, what's the worst thing to happen right now? What is the worst possible thing um, in the situation? And sometimes our ego allows ourselves to be completely let down not be present with our, our real selves and um, and this can make us feel very very uncomfortable and it's not in harmony and it's not what's in our great self so sometimes when we feel ourselves validating fear and validating fearful projections that are not a reality and that is not actually what it is um, you just got to trust in yourself a little bit more and Basically, if you're doing your daily level stuff where you're tuning into your vibration and, you know, uh, then you can be really good at picking up the background noise. So, you know, what's the message here? What's going on? Like, you know, how do I pull myself out of these feelings of these, you know, these nonsense projections and why am I allowing myself to be, um, you know, not in the best possible situation for myself? And that's okay because sometimes when there is discomfort um, and slightly out of alignment as it's communicating with us that we are out of alignment and you know that um, that we're trusting in fear not trusting in ourselves and maybe we need to have a look around ourselves and say what is it that we are surrounding ourselves in you know um, what is where is this this fear coming from and then you know we can we can clear that and we can get back to a place of peace and harmony and success and we can listen and we can look and we can look around us and we can become more willing a more willing participant to be doing the things that are going to make us happy not getting strung up and caught in an old thread or an old story so um, appreciating what you have got and honoring yourself and being kind to yourself um, they can help to stop yourself from um, getting drawn into um, situations where you know you're, you're allowing yourself to not be meeting your highest needs your highest needs so just focus and know um, notice those key points and um, keep enjoying life and and keep smiling and understanding that sometimes from our weakest moments um, we can recognize a part of ourself that we need to shift and transform and overcome and you know there's great strength in trusting ourselves and owning our own selves and being responsible for ourselves and you know then we can harness that shadow and we can learn from those experiences to grow into more and more and more and more so giving ourselves permission to moderate our own stuff and this is the um you know bringing in clarity looking at bigger picture stuff um, allowing more openness and that gives way for trusting and healing and then that shuts out you know the, the negative energies like the blaming and the shaming and you know that's not going to help with the love and light um, you know we get a lot of insight um, into our inner workings and our true persons so you know gaining perspective in every situation is a really healthy and nice part of connectedness and it brings in our purpose and it brings in our clarity um, and allows us to be loving through conflict. So, you know, I'm um, a believer in forgiveness um, and to use love to heal others and myself and empower others um, through my love of and the use of love to ground myself and to respect my weakness and that sometimes, you know, um, vibrations can get sucked up um, with over-loving too. So that's where we can then again follow that thread and understand that love is pure and full of wisdom and strength and you know love empowers um we're, we're meant to enjoy life 
um, and help others every day. And you know, love is a key element of everything. And the very foundation of love provides the ultimate safety and hope. Um, and that is just so important for our own development. Um, it's a vital key for professional development, actually, and a skill that you know we can take into the world. And that provides a new platform and a benchmark, um, you know, to bring forth behaviours that attract the right clients. You know, serving yourself for your own personal growth allows you to grow and become your best version of yourself. And then you know, your like attracts like, so you're going to attract your best version of your customer and you can take action from that great thing to have in the in the tool for um, clarity and for comfort for confidence it's simple and it's effective so you know kind of sometimes um we also do a bit of a ping pong around you know one should i be very open two should i be closed off you know how do i integrate integrate that into you know wholeness you know, just check in with your own reality. And this is the main thing um, that I want to re- re- reiterate here is that sometimes when we tend to overanalyze and act out on things, we're not in our strength and our weakness and we're living in our own head and we're not actually communicating from awareness. So, you know, allow yourself that space. Pull yourself back into balance um, with love, wholeheartedness, self-moderation and this is very relevant so I hope you've enjoyed.